So, as you can see, I did make it home from CompTIA Yupum. That's year-end planning meeting if, you know, you didn't get the acronym. But uh, we had a great time, thanks to MJ, the entire CompTIA staff, as well as the facilitators and, of course, all of the volunteer leaders who were there. Really looking forward to 2023, and I think it's great. We did some workshops. We did a thing called Unconference, which was really kind of cool. Uh, allowed us to really brainstorm a lot of different topics in a very short period of time. I thought that was really interesting. And uh, then we did these skits. We had different problems and we wanted to describe or show, not really describe, but really show with a skit or a video uh, how we would solve that problem. And it was hilarious. There were a lot of great uh, skits and videos. Now, one of the things that I thought was interesting was that because we did, it was a little bit of a contest. So uh, there were uh, top three winners and it was interesting that all of the top three winners incorporated video into their presentation. Uh, the top two actually were just videos that they played on the screen. And I think what's really interesting about that because the other presentations were awesome. I mean, we were, some of them were just hilarious and they really hit home in terms of what they were trying to describe and solve and, and all of those things. Uh, but it's very interesting that the top three were videos. And I think that really speaks to the power of video, why you should be incorporating video into whatever your role in this industry is. You have something to share, get on video, share it. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have fancy equipment. Use your phone. It, it, it'll work. Trust me. And if you don't like what you record, guess what? You can just delete it. Okay. So another thing I want to do with these sessions, uh, with sessions, with these videos is introduce you to some community members that I think you should know. Uh, and one of those, and the one I'm going to start off with today on the second video of Logmas is Juan Fernandez. Now, if you don't know Juan, he was the one, he probably had, he had the longest section. He was the last one on the video from yesterday describing community. And I think he's an ideal person to start this off with. Uh, if you don't know him, he's presented all over the place. He's owned an MSP. He coaches MSPs. He does all kinds of things in this industry. He's volunteered, I don't know, like forever uh, at CompTIA. And if you want to get him know, get to know him better, obviously you can you know find him on LinkedIn, follow him, ask him questions, that kind of thing. Uh, but also he wrote a book. Let me, because I got it here somewhere. Hold on. right here. See if the camera will focus on it. Get my eyes out of the picture. So it, it's the MSP owner's handbook. And he actually, he co-wrote it with Marnie Stockman. Okay. Um, and this one is, is about QBR. So I don't know. Again, get my eyes out so I can focus. Uh, it's the QBR edition and it's, it's really cheap on Amazon. So really easy to pick up. Uh, it talks about QBRs, which if you have heard me before, QBRs are extremely important to any type of service business, uh, especially IT, because your customers just don't understand what's going on, right? So QBRs are an excellent place for you to be able to describe what's going on, what they need to do, what's coming up, what they need to prepare for, all of those different things. So check that book out. All the proceeds or most of the proceeds are something, uh, go to charity. And I believe, and Juan will correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, that they go towards, uh, helping other people get into the IT industry through certifications or training or something like that. Uh, so it's going to benefit all of us, right? Because we know that we have a, uh, a labor skill shortage in this industry. So check the book out, get to know Juan, start you know, watching these videos on the regular because, you know, I got to do 25. Well, uh, this is two out of 25. So I got 23 more to go in this series, which is called Vlogmas. And really, it's just practice for me getting more comfortable doing this and editing and all that fun stuff. So if you're interested in watching more, 
just make sure you go ahead, click that like button, click that subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified when I post all of the different YouTube things, of course. Uh, now, if you disagree with some of this or anything in my series, in my videos, please, because this is about a conversation, hit that dislike button, you know, be honest, be transparent, but then make sure you comment to why so that we can have the discussion. <laughs> anyway, Thanks very much for joining me in this video, in this video series that I'm doing for Vlogmas. Uh, it's really, you know, I love this industry and I love doing things with you guys. And this is one of the ways that I can scale that up. So until the next video, have a great weekend. See you later.